Though Naruto had a tragic and lonely upbringing, he used his pain as motivation to become the greatest ninja the hidden villages have ever seen. Though Naruto Uzumaki was born to two exceptional shinobi, Minato Namakaze and Kushina Uzumaki, his life was never easy. As a child, the entire village looked at him with fear and disgust because he was the nine-tailed fox spirit's Jinshuriki. On top of that, he struggled with his jutsu and was considered a fool who acted out for attention. As the years went on, Naruto proved everyone wrong. He broke left and proper barriers, mastered jutsu that should have been possible, and restructured shinobi society. He accomplished many great things between his rough childhood and his eventual ascent to Hokage. So in this video, we will talk about the top 10 achievements of Naruto characters. Before starting the video, smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on our videos. Let's get started. 10. He learned and mastered the multi-shadow clone jutsu at a young age. Naruto Uzumaki's first win happened while he was still in the academy. He was manipulated into stealing a secret scroll that held the forbidden jutsu of the Hidden Leaf Village. Before handing it over, he took some time to practice the multi-shadow clone jutsu, also a banned jutsu at the time, due to the deadly amounts of chakra needed to pull it off. Naruto had previously struggled with the clone and transformation jutsu, often producing weak and deformed clones. However, when Ruka sensei was backed into a corner, Naruto could suddenly create not one but numerous shadow clones, which a jonin couldn't do, much less a child. 9. He defeated Kaguya and the Atsutsuki after her Kaguya was, without a doubt, the most formidable villain yet. It took the combined strength of Naruto and Sesuke, along with the assistance of Sakura Haruno, Kakashi Hetake, Obito Uchiha, and Minato Namikaze, to defeat her. When they did, they had defeated one of the progenitors of the shinobi world. Unlike anything Naruto and his comrades had ever encountered, Kaguya was a being. Though they would go on to fight more Atsutsuki, Kaguya was still one of the strongest, making her defeat one of the most significant accomplishments in shinobi history. 8. He saved the village from pain. The Hidden Leaf Village finally started to respect Naruto after the pain assault arc. When the leader of the Akatsuki attacked the village and killed many characters, Naruto was not only powerful enough to fight pain, but he was also the only one who could get through to him. Thanks to Naruto's speech, Nagato revived the village and accepted defeat. Naruto saved countless lives and stopped one of the strongest villains in Naruto, Shippuden. While it was not the most brutal fight of the series, it was monumental for its impact on the entire village. 7. He learned Baryan Mode Baryan Mode was one of Naruto's most potent forms yet, and though it came with significant drawbacks, it was a new form that Naruto could add to his collection. It was only available to Naruto thanks to his close relationship with Kurama, making it unique. When he assumes the form, he takes on more fox-like features. Naruto used this form in Boruto to keep up with Ishiki Atsutsuki's powers. Ishiki was among the most powerful Asatsuki Naruto and his friends had ever faced. 6. He restructured all the village's systems and upheld peace. The shinobi world and the hidden leaf village had a lot of complex systems and policies that perpetuated cycles of war, hatred, and death. However, Naruto dared to dream of a different way of life for his village and everyone. As Okage, he changed a lot of the shadowy policies that existed under Hiruzen Sarutobi and other Okage. He also restructured the city to focus on civilian life and shinobi life. In Boruto, fans can see more civilians enjoying their lives and children enjoying their childhoods. 5. He became Hokage, even after the whole village spent years shunning him. Naruto's goal of becoming the Hokage was laughable. He was the worst student, the weakest ninja, and a social pariah. However, he proved everyone wrong. He not only became the Hokage, but he also became one of the best shinobi in existence. He's the opposite of the previous Hokage, particularly Hiruzen Serutobi, who garnered much criticism from other characters and fans for his questionable actions. Reaching this monumental leadership position was a testament to Naruto's strength, will, and charisma. It would have been a huge accomplishment for anyone, 
but it was especially significant for Naruto, who had such a rough upbringing. 4. After years, he finally rescued Sasuke from himself. Naruto never gave up on Sasuke, even when it seemed like Sasuke was lost forever. His dedication to their friendship saved Sasuke's life. He fought Sasuke when they were still children to keep Sasuke from joining Orochimaru. When Sasuke left Orochimaru, he dove further into darkness and vowed to seek revenge on the Hidden Leaf Village. While going rogue and wanting to destroy the village was undoubtedly Sasuke's most significant offense, Naruto still believed in him and fought him again to get him to see the error of his ways. Getting through to such a stubborn character was a feat in and of itself, but Naruto could go head-to-head -head with him in combat too. 3. He learned to enter Sage Mode Since Jiraiya trained Naruto, it was only natural for him to become a Toad Sage. Only a few shinobi were able to master Sage Mode, three of them being the legendary Sanin. Naruto miraculously got a Sage Way in a short time. It allowed him to keep up in fights when he couldn't channel Kurama's Chakra. It was impressive enough that Naruto could summon Gamabunda, the head of the Toads when he was only a child, but learning Sage Mode at such a young age was momentous. 2. He befriended Kurama Kurama was the Nine Tails Fox Spirit who lived inside Naruto. Though he was initially seen as a curse, he became integral to Naruto's success. At the beginning of the series, Kurama hated humans, including Naruto, which caused him to create widespread destruction and chaos. However, he later saved Naruto and his friends in dire situations. Not only did Naruto rely on Kurama's power to beat the Atsutsuki in both Naruto, Shippuden and Boruto, but Kurama also protected Naruto and gave him access to the world he knew nothing about. 1. He mastered the Rasengan and its transformations. Since Naruto struggled with academics, he had a tough time understanding how Jutsu worked. It took him a while to master basic skills. However, Naruto was a force to be reckoned with in the realm of ingenuity and creativity. He always found a way around these roadblocks. It was that thinking that allowed Naruto to achieve what his father, the fourth Oak Age, was unable to master, changing the Rasengan's nature to wind. Since his mastery of nature and form transformations, Naruto learned many variations on the Rasengan. Quite that easy. Huh? It's got a nature? <sighs> well, I kind of figured it. Wind, water, lightning, and earth. The five great nations took their names from these. Most everyone's chakra falls under one of these five natures. For example, linked to lightning style, like the Chidori. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe. Goodbye.